This is the MGGM podcast. I am with the living legend himself, Mickey See, Gall. I thought I Mickey Gall, a living legend? A legend? Like, really? Come on, man. Even in the era of participation trophies, that is a stretch. First of all, I would Bruce Lee up. Wait a <laughs> Hey guys, this got me all riled up and he's just talking about Bruce Lee. Like, can you imagine if he shit on Jean-Claude Van Damme like that little whiner Cody Garbrandt? Then I'd be really pissed. But anyway, I'm going to defend Bruce Lee and break this guy's argument down why I think Bruce Lee would destroy him in many, many ways. Man, having this guy like learn anything from the fallout, the backlash that Michael Jai White had over his comments over Bruce Lee. And you could beat Bruce Lee? Really? Bruce, Bruce Lee is 132 pounds. I outweigh him by 100 pounds. But they weren't nearly as bad or disrespectful as this mickey gull it's ridiculous man he was on this podcast where basically like here, here's some of the stuff that he said for example first of all i would f bruce lee up Wait. <laughs> such ego and disrespect from bruce lee's way like bruce lee's not even alive bruce lee can't even defend himself and for one he's such a legend and respect in the martial arts community like that's just not somebody you should shit on especially if you're a fighter fighting in a sport that in a lot of ways was inspired by bruce lee i would fuck wait bruce lee a up. bit because he's dead no he, I'm, he, in he's his prime old. he's got old in his bars. prime bruce lee yes yeah, straight up dude 100 well, i'm a, i'm yeah i fight right, in the in ufc fa in fairness now. In he fights in the ufc okay but he doesn't win i mean he won his first few fights but he wasn't exactly beating top tier guys. He beat CM Punk. He beat uh, Sage Northcutt. And then he loses against people like Diego Sanchez. So he's not exactly dominating in the UFC. I think he's like seven and four. If he was 10 and 0 or, or even 20 and 0, then maybe he could talk shit about Bruce Lee, but still, you, you should still leave Bruce Lee's name out of it. But if he's like this dominant fighter that's just got a crazy streak, then. I could see somebody maybe wanting to talk shit up and hyping. He's using the name basically to get interest in himself, I guess, because who the hell is talking about him? People talked about it in, in that CM Punk fight because they wanted to see what CM Punk can do. And this guy ended up punking CM Punk. But let's see what else he says, man. Where, where did Bruce Lee fight? In the fucking movies? Come on. <laughs> where did Bruce Lee fight in the movies? Okay, and he dominated in the movies. So this Mickey Gall guy, by the way... He's fighting in the UFC, he's losing. He was in a movie called Born a Champion, actually a pretty decent martial arts film. He lost, so Mickey Gall can't even win a fight in a movie. And this whole thing was basically motivated him to talk shit was uh, from one of those UFC games where the Bruce Lee character basically beat him. And so he can't win in a video game. He can't win in real life in the UFC. He can't win in a movie. I'm pretty damn sure he would even lose in a celebrity boxing match against a YouTuber. This guy just can't win. It is the truth. Yet he can beat who is arguably the greatest martial artist of all time. But even if hypothetically he could or he thought he could, you just don't say that shit out loud. Like, how stupid are you? We, we all learned and, and found out. Michael Jai White found out the hard way. Oh, I wish I didn't say that shit. <laughs> that you just don't throw Bruce Lee's name in, in a conversation and shit on him basically especially when there's no way bruce lee to have his chance to to defend himself but people like me and i'm not even the biggest bruce lee fan i had i like bruce lee i respect bruce lee but uh i even feel like i have to come to his defense because again the guy's not even here anymore but if you look at his instagram post him trying to justify it uh bruce lee was 135 pounds mickey walks around at 190 plus Okay, you know how stupid that is? This isn't even the size argument, which we'll get to in a minute. Mickey walks around 190 plus. He cuts down. He fights welterweight 170. You don't think Bruce Lee cuts down to 135 to look extremely ripped for his movie? So you might be able to say Bruce Lee was 135, Mickey Gold 170. Honestly, if Bruce Lee fought, he'd probably be closer to 150. So now you got a 20-pound weight difference, which isn't even that big. And then the guy goes on to say, that alone should end the conversation. I don't think so. Like, yes, size obviously plays a role. Everybody gets it. There are weight classes for a reason. But you got to understand, 
Bruce Lee's like not a normal guy, as we all know. And smaller guys have beaten bigger guys. In fact, Jack Dempsey, heavyweight, former heavyweight boxing champ, weighed 187 when he beat just who was 245. So was that like a 50, 60 pound difference? So yes, weight matters, but you're talking maybe a 20 pound difference between Bruce Lee and Mickey Gall, not 50 or 60. So I don't think the weight is that big of a deal. What, what else does this guy say? Mickey is an elite fighter competing at the highest level. Yes, he is competing kind of at the highest level i mean you have to get in the ufc you do have to be a high level mma fighter but he's not winning and he's not even fighting top tier guys so just because you're in the ufc doesn't mean you're like a super elite level per se i mean it's not like he's even ranked forget about striking where mickey probably still has an advantage no i don't think so not even close man he can't even not not the speed and i doubt the power and how many knockouts does Mickey Gall have? Zero. Zero. So, yeah, his striking's not all that. And he always loses. He, t he tends to lose a lot by decision, too. So he's not, like, outscoring these people. Um, Mickey's one of the best MMA grapplers in the world. He's, he's a pretty good grappler. Like, I'll give him that. I mean, if it was, like, a pure grappling match, then maybe he could beat Bruce Lee. And then it says, you do not have that many finishes by RNC in the UFC by accident. Rear naked choke. Yeah, okay, so fine. That That's the only way he's winning, if and rarely when he's winning. If the fight hits the ground, it's curtains for Bruce 100 out of 100 times. That's a stupid-ass statement. You could say 99 out of 100. You could never really say 100 out of 100. Like, you just... that That's just a stupid statement. So if you think Bruce Lee beats Mickey Gall in a fight, you're out of your mind. I'm not. As great as Bruce is a straight-up legend okay he's showing a little bit of respect he cannot compete with modern day athletes and that is practically true about legends across all sports so hypothetically if bruce lee were alive today he would have obviously continued to evolve his martial arts that's what he why he was a pioneer back in the 70s but if you just wanted to take a time machine uh when bruce lee was in his prime and, and bring him here or bring mickey gold back there there i think there's something lost and i think a lot of the old school martial artists in a lot of ways were actually better there's a level of toughness with the training now i'm not saying they don't train to build toughness in an mma gym i mean if they're depending on how hard they're sparring and i, I don't even think hard sparring is necessarily the best thing that's um a different debatable topic but i just think the way bruce lee trained and pushed himself and and his intelligence and you could argue oh well you know he, he hasn't fought so he doesn't have a high fight iq i think he understood so many concepts that somebody like mickey gull and so many others would never understand but the guy just got it so he's a legend for a reason ahead of his time and even if you go 30 40 what 50 years back now i i, I don't think mickey gull's even close to that level especially with the striking especially with the striking that's how far behind mickey goal is or how far you know bruce lee was ahead of his time i mean okay you can make the grappling argument you got to get him to the ground if you can and then are we just assuming why, why is it always like assumed it's going to be an mma match bruce lee trained like you know where he could probably kill somebody in the street so if it were the street I would argue that weight classes matter even less. But anyway, let me know what you think about Mickey Gall's comments. Like, are you a fan of him? I don't really see how you could be. I mean, come on. He's got a shitty record. He can't win in movies. He can't win in video games. But the only reason I'm talking about him, you know, is because he shit on Bruce Lee. So we're talking about him for all the wrong reasons. I know they say any publicity is good publicity, but you, you don't shit on a legend at the end of the day, man. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. But I'm very self-sufficient that they do not bother me. And that should I fight, should I do anything, I have made up my mind and that's it baby. You better kill me before 